10 rex are unique and diverse animals found only on Madagascar. There are numerous species of tenrec, and in this lesson, we'll take a closer look at three of them, the lowland streaked tenrec. The lowland streaked tenrec looks kind of like a mix between a shrew and a hedgehog. Its backside is covered with quills and fur, while its underside is covered in a soft hair. True to its name, the lowland streaked tenrec has four yellow streaks running the length of its body. It also has a long, pointed snout, no tail, big ears, and small eyes. It's a small creature, reaching only about 5.5 inches in length and about 4.5 to 10 ounces in weight. Off uh, two of our new satanic leaf tail geckos. Believe it or not, these guys are just about full grown. Um, these geckos are super cool. Uh, more for an advanced um, reptile keeper. These guys do require really high humidity levels. Um, and a little tricky sometimes, so do your research on them before you get them. Uh, but they are really, really cool animals to own. Um, these guys are currently feeding on small crickets, um, and they are available on the website. Equipped with large Front focused eyes and small rounded ears, these three dwelling mammals are proficient gliders and they have been observed to glide as far as 70 meters from tree to tree without losing any attitude. These small and nocturnal creatures are called Kolugo, also known as flying lemur. They have an enormous blanket of furry membrane that stretches from the side of its head right down to the tip of its tail. Kolugos spend most of the day curled up in the tree hollows or hanging inconspicuously under branches. At night, Kolugos spend most of their time up in the trees foraging to find possible mates and protect territory. The Kaluga's face looks similar to the flying squirrels, which had led to the confusion that the Kaluga's are flying squirrels. But, in the case of the Kaluga, the membrane extends from the Kaluga's neck all the way to its hind toes, totally enclosing its tail. Occasionally, the Kolugas can be seen licking and cleaning themselves, including the inside of their membrane. They're about the same size as a squirrel and have highly flexible leather armor with 24 bands. They're primarily nocturnal and dig burrows. This behavior has led them to be classified as a subterranean armadillo. Giant So, this is the Mata Mata, and it is a strange creature with a pretty good bite if you were to get hit by one. But this is a female right here, and we know that because she's got that little tail and her vent is close to the plastron, or the bottom of her shell. But look at that face. Now, is this not the most bizarre turtle you've ever seen? I mean, I think that this is definitely the most incredible looking animal, and I've been compared to looking like this. If you look back at episode, or excuse me, season, it's because it's always smiling. If you look real close, you can see it kind of has this smile to it. But this animal right here is completely aquatic. Now, even though it's aquatic, it is actually a very poor swimmer. It actually is an ambush predator, and when it does decide to move, it just kind of crawls along the bottom of the river or oxbow or swamp that it's living in. They're found in South America only, and they are found in and around the, the Amazon and its tributaries. So this animal loves slow-moving, tannin-rich water. That's water that's got a lot of tannic acid in it from the trees and leaves. And in fact, this animal, the reason it's in the Galapagos tortoise environment in their water bowl, is so you can actually see it. Because in its habitat, you couldn't even see this thing. It mimics so perfectly the, the dead debris and detritus. 